And this view is for everybody who is an RC addict, just something I have never seen before. So today is one of the most special days uh, we have ever had together and uh, I hope that at the end of the video you will see why this is so special. In front of me there is the Leaper 970 and the most interesting thing about it is this thing has not been made in Germany, it is made in China. And the quality and the appearance and the level of detail is something, to be honest, you might never have seen, seen before. And so let's start with this review of this amazing beast. And as always, let's first of all, let's check the measurements. But I almost something forgot because before you ask, where can I get something like this? Just check out this website. This is a German dealer and they have a really good service and so if you're interested in this thing just get the, go to their website and check it out. So the measurements. I have my ruler and let's check how big this thing is. So when it stands like this your length is something about 90 centimeters. The width of this thing is 30 centimeters and the height is 44 centimeters. But what do you think how heavy this thing is? It weighs 32 kilograms. And this is really a lot. And this is also, on the one hand, this is a big advantage because we all know that when you want to make serious digging, you just need weight. You just need weight to do serious digging. And the disadvantage for sure is that this thing is just heavy. And when you carry it around, you have to have some muscles in your arms because it's really heavy. So let's start the radio. And I would like to give you a first impression of this outstanding quality. And so far I come closer to you, get the camera and get you closer to the excavator. So let's start with the closer look and give you an impression of the quality level and of the detail. So this is a, a five teeth bucket. It is really huge. I will show you later and give you a comparison how huge it really is. But it is really a, thick, a big thing and uh, yeah, it's, it, it's amazing. Uh, to be honest, I have never seen something like this before. Um, right here, what you see here is this piston. This is um, the piston of the hydraulic quick coupler um, that is included in this machine. And what you see here is this is just something made out of plastic. And uh, they told us, they told me that there will be a quick coupler, or no, there will be a LecoFix system. So this is the quick coupler, it is already included. There will be a LecoFix system so that you need not to manually change the hoses when you connect something that um, needs hydraulic uh, assistance. So what you see here is, look at this handcraft ship. See the screws see the level of detail, see how this machine is built. So these additional hoses, two on each side. And just look how this has been made. Look at these things. And when we move on, coming to the main boom, see these connectors. To be honest, have you seen something like this before? These are screws, so every, every hose is connected via screws. This is just, I'm looking for the right words. Both sides, let's move on. 
So this is what you see here. This is um, the hoses for the pre-coupler. Look at this. Look at this. And what you see here is are the, the working lights, two on each side. On the left hand side you see the other one. Uh, let's move on. Main boom, main pistons, <laughs> and see these cool things right here. This is so amazing. Lights, and when you, and you see these protectors, look how they have been installed. This is straight. See, this is straight. And the cage for the driver lights and the tracks. By the way, they are made out of stainless steel, so rust will never appear. And by the way, the whole thing except the cabin, and listen, the whole thing is made out of metal, and you will see later. This is a metal excavator. So, right here you have the door handle. Amazing detail. You just do it like this. And then you can open it. And again, see the level of detail. I hope you can see it. How the door looks. Again, I have never seen something like this before. The driver also has a display. You will see later when we turn on the machine. And let's move on. Back to the main boom. And look at this. Isn't this cool? And look at all these hoses. And the, how they have been installed. How this is made. Get you a bit closer. And the cool thing is when you put on the hydraulic oil you always ask yourself how much is in there now. <clears throat> There's a window. You can see the, the level of hydraulic oil put in there. <clears throat> this is just amazing. Again look at these details how the railing has been installed with a screw. Working lights on the back side. And then we move on to the rear part. Let's close the door again. See how this looks. There is no space between the door and the frame. See, this is something we only knew in the past from German manufacturers. This is the typical made in Germany, but it is not made in Germany anymore. As I said, this is made in China. Don't forget. So our Chinese friends really do a great job in the meanwhile. So, this is also a box. What you see here is made out of metal. Magnet, closed. And now we open this door. By the way, look at the space. Look at the space, how straight it is. Look at the space. And now, even from above, now we can open it like this. And here you see the battery compartment. I love the 970 in the end, in the end. This is the power on, power off switch. And here you can see the capacity of your battery. So there are lights, lightning, you will see later. And first time when I put the battery in there, <clears throat> I was looking for the cable. Where, where do I plug in? <clears throat> the cable from the battery and it is the solution is right there 
it, there's the socket just plug it in this is so cool and look at the door look at these I don't know how you call them not door handle but you know what I mean look at this handcraft chip this is just amazing and for sure there's a magnet so listen Bam. closed there's another door let's open it as well and what you see here is really nice detail a real working um, manometer it is in German I'm not sure what is in English but you can you can uh, read the oil pressure when the machine is working so let's get you to the other side so let's let's have a look at the back what's still missing is um, there is still missing a decal but it comes with a machine I just had no time to put it on and uh, for sure uh, I wanted to share these these pictures with you as soon as possible so this is the reason why the decal is missing so look this gigantic back of this monster the exhaust pipe do not have to mention this is out of metal and by the way what I almost forgot is to open to open it I will do in a few seconds so let's move on to the other side so look at these this machine there's just missing something the specialist of you know that there's missing leaper and by the way these are screws the red things are screws look at this amazing level of detail and everything you see right here everything my friends is made out of metal and now comes most of them uh, this is one of the most coolest things I've ever seen so stay tuned these two doors by the way again see how narrow it is how straight no space everything is fine look at these metal everything is metal so now let's open the doors and this view is for everybody who is an RC addict just something I have never seen before. My friends, we are talking about a radio controlled our excavator, a model excavator. And when you open the doors, you see the oil cooler and the filter and the system and everything has been made at a level of detail this is just amazing and you see I'm quite quiet because I'm looking for the right words. This is so cool. For everybody who loves RC machines, look at this compartment, at this hydraulic compartment. Have you seen something like this before? Tell me please in the comments. Have you an excavator that is looking like this? This is just amazing. And by the way, for sure, bam, magnets, when you close it, it just is closed. This is so nice. Again, <clears throat> look at the hoses. This is something so cool. Really, really cool. All the screws, the hoses. And yeah, it's just amazing. Don't forget, everything you see here, <laughs> everything you see here is made out of metal. What do you think? Can you open it? For sure. Magnet in there. Me metal, this is thick metal. This is why where, the, where the weight comes from closed this thing is the most amazing RC excavator I have seen ever since today
So what I would like to should give, give you another view is, is we did not open what we, which we didn't do. We did not open this these doors, and now we will do it. So what you see here is the RC equipment, the receiver. By the way, it is a FlySky receiver. And let me show you the radio. The excavator comes as an R2R with this FlySky radio. And um, yeah, just let you know, it is working really, really good with it. You have a lot of adjustments you can do that you all know is very important um, to get the best performance out of your RC machine. And the cool thing is that you really just put in the battery and you can start immediately. So what I also would like to say, show you <coughs> is the battery for sure. So this is, this is the battery. And the cool thing is, where can you see it? At the bottom. It is an advanced lithium ion battery pack and see what is written there. The capacity is 17.5 ampere hours. This is a huge capacity and I'm really excited to see um, how long it, you can work with just one load. So without further ado, I think it's time for powering this monster. So first of all, you take your FlySky radio, as I said, um, it, comes, it comes with it. <laughs> the, the funny thing is that FlySky, you need to put these two buttons. So now it uh, is engaged. And we need to open the battery compartment and put in the battery like this fits perfectly and as you might remember the power switch and the plug needs to put in the socket right here like this so now everything everything is in there and we can power the machine So that's it. Now the, the radio is connected with the excavator. We can shut the door. By the way, oh no, this is one detail I would like to share with you. This is the power on, on, on off switch. <laughs> it's lightning. This is really cool. And here you can see the battery capacity. One red dot and one, two, three green dots. So it is has been fully charged. So let's close the door and get you in a better position. So cool thing is that the display always turns off when you don't need it. When you need it, just uh, take your finger, push um, on the display. And now we can, we can, sorry. And now we can uh, turn on the machine. And this works like this. You can uh, just push this, this button. Now the pump is running and let's make the first movement. And what you see here is, I hope that you can see it, that how cool you can control this machine. This is, as you might know, so important so that you can smoothly control it because if you can't, you will have no chance on the RC construction side to work properly. 
And look how this is working. Is this cool? Look at these smooth movements. The speed can be easily adjusted. You can tell the machine, uh, the, you can tell the servos um, how um, they should control the valves if you need more speed or less speed. This is just my first setup. It is the setup it comes, the machine comes with. Uh, but look at the smooth movement. So if you ask me, this could be a good basis for further adjustments. So a cool thing of this radio in combination with the excavator is that you have these controls and they, they control um, the tracks. Just let me show you a little bit how this machine moves and works. By the way, what you see here is you have lights. Um, you have, let me see if you can get a better view on them. Yeah, now they are free. You have these two working lights and these two and the two um, above the cabin. So let's turn them on. Now they are all on. And also the light at the back should be turned on. Yes, they are. I hope you can see it right there. And you also have uh, different uh, functions. You can turn them off at the top. You can turn them on and turn them off at the bottom and you can turn them all off. What do you think? Is this thing amazing? Doesn't it look great? And look at the movements, how smooth they are. Look at these movements and the shovel, how wide it can be opened. This is so cool. So um, now let's have a closer look at the quick coupler and therefore I get you closer. So what you saw, saw here is what I showed you. Here's the piston coming from the quick coupler and you just um, you just use the switch now it's open and I shall give you a better view So this is, this is the quick coupler, this is the hydraulic piston, it is coming out like this. Now it's closed, or locked, and now it's open. And by the way, when you are, at the moment, you are so close, look at this half handcraft ship. Doesn't this look amazing? This is fantastic. So again, Let's try to get the shovel where it should be, right at the boom. And now the shovel is at the boom again. It's still open. I hope you can see it. It's still open, not closed. Now it's closed. And that's it. it. That's it. Is this cool? By the way, what I wanted to show you is the size. What I wanted to show you is the size of the shovel. 
or the bucket, sorry, <laughs> sorry, the bucket. And therefore, I will get something. You all might know this bucket. This um, is the same scale. And see, see how huge this bucket is. I will get it off. See how huge, how huge this bucket is. Is this amazing? Is this amazing? And these two things, these two things have the same scale. This bucket is just a huge thing. So what I, do, what I would like to show you is for sure, just give me a second. So with that, I wanted to show you for sure this machine has a sound module. So let's start the engine. By the way, you can adjust the volume right here. So my friends, I hope that you got a good impression, a first impression of this amazing RC excavator. And uh, yeah, the level of detail, tell me in the comments uh, below, the level of detail is, from my perspective, is just something you have never seen before. And the quality, um, the handcraft chip is just amazing. And as I said, it comes as an R2R, a real R2R, so this really cool. Uh, radio transmitter uh, is included. The Fly Sky it is the Paladin light. This is a cool radio. It is in English. You can you can control it very easily. And uh, this thing is just yeah. Um, uh, when you compare the review with other reviews from me, uh, I was a bit looking for words for the right words. But this is something I have never seen before. It is so cool, and I'm looking forward to show you this thing in the dirt, working in the mud. Um, and let's look what the performance is like. And there's one thing I almost forgot to show you. And if I will get you closer and just check out your excavator at home. Your, if you own an excavator, check it out. What do you think does this machine look underneath? Is it just a, a plate, a plain plate? Or is it different? And this is also something I have never seen before. This is the last thing I would like to share with you and uh, just stay tuned. I will share with you in a second. And by the way, stay safe. I have my fingers crossed that we will have the COVID-19 thing in a few months behind us. And it was a pleasure to share this thing with you, this monster. If you have questions, just put them in the comment box below. It takes some time to answer, but I will answer them. And uh, I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, as always, please thumbs up.
See you soon. Bye bye. So the last thing uh, I wanted to show you is, uh, first of all, what I almost forgot is um, there is this display. This is a cool display that gives you some information when the machine is running. And now let's have a look underneath. And this is something I have never seen before. Look how it looks. It is not just a plain thing underneath, it is open. It looks just like a real machine. So that's it. Have a good time. Bye bye.